Every week, PFW gives you the fantasy matchups to exploit and avoid. Arthur, first let's talk about the guys you want to play this week. And Chris Johnson has been such a disappointment. We know you drafted him really high, and it's tough to put him in each week. But this week might finally be the week against the Colts. Yeah, Johnson owners certainly reluctant to get him in the lineup, but this is the week you have to do it. The Colts defense not only had 62 dropped on it last week, they look like they quit a little bit. Uh, Johnson has been under an even larger spotlight than usual. He kind of was not willing to fess up to his share of the Titans struggles on the ground last week so he's gonna really be under the microscope this week and against that Colts defense you gotta get him in your lineup and see if he can finally break through. So tough you just can't bench him you drafted him so high eventually he has to do something. Anquan Bolden a good matchup to exploit going against his former team the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah Bolden's been playing a little bit better obviously as a unit uh, the Ravens were shut down by Jacksonville really impressive defensive effort on Monday night. But Bolden still found the end zone I think he had 40 something receiving yards. He's a decent play against a Cardinals defense that isn't stopping anyone. Roethlisberger threw three touchdowns on him last week. Yeah and all going against his former team a good matchup Evan Moore the tight end for the Browns a good play this week against the Niners yeah Evan Morris was really good the first two weeks of the season had a touchdown in each game kind of fell off the grid a little bit as Ben Watson uh, came out a little bit as much as a Cleveland uh, offensive player can actually come out but uh, Moore's a good play this week Watson's got a concussion he's going up against a stout San Francisco defense but they've had a hard time covering tight ends this season and Moore uh, could be a decent play on the avoid side of things, Kevin Cobb, we played all right against the Steelers' defense last week, but going against the Ravens, I'm not sure you want to start any quarterback. Yeah, you know, the Steelers' uh, pass defense has been great this year, but can you really do it two weeks in a row? Baltimore is going to be licking their wounds after that Jacksonville loss, and Cobb, like we said, while he was good from a fantasy standpoint last week, I just don't have the confidence he can do it two weeks in a row. Yeah, and the truth was the numbers were probably better than he actually played. And finally, Braylon Edwards, a wide receiver, going against the Browns. He's been hurt a lot, and this just isn't the matchup for him. Exactly. Edwards actually could have some nice fantasy value down the stretch, the 49ers wideouts are obviously really banged up, but this week against a Cleveland secondary that's been playing really well, Edwards just coming off the knee injury is going to be a little bit rusty. You may want to sit tight with him. Yeah, you might want to hold off eventually. Hopefully he'll come through. Those are our fantasy matchups to exploit and avoid. For the best fantasy coverage, check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.